Good morning to you and thanks for joining us on Tea Time, the program that brings you the hottest and the very latest entertainment stories. I'm Tukumbo Taiwo and I'm here with my co-anchors Ife Oshinkeye and Elsie Godwin. Hi guys. What up? TGIF. I just get used to saying TGIF even if I know that, you know. You know that what? You've got plans for TGIF. Uh, no, I exactly. That's what I mean. That we never we seem to have plans, but if I might have some plans this weekend, who knows? Uh, who knows? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Anything new then? Mm, not on my side. Okay. Uh, Genevieve has become a billionaire, the first billionaire in Hollywood, as it has been revealed that Netflix actually purchased um, Lionheart mm -hmm. for three point eight million dollars. Wow. Mm-hmm. So congratulations. Yes, in see. order. Oh, congratulations. Elsie yeah. seems very pleased. I'm and sorry. then yes, we have to look forward to Fowl's moral instruction, the album. Mm -hmm. He already dropped the visual mm -hmm. um talk and he's shaking a whole lot of table. He okay, spoke I'm about see, watch it, but he I'm spoke sorry. about Morik saying that Morik said they would sue him but they never showed up in court. Mm -hmm. He spoke about the um, Pastors buying private jets, saying it's for the congregation members that never get to use it. Mm -hmm. He spoke about unemployment, just the, the normal same social files, issues. yeah, wow. social issues. So okay. right. that's amazing. So I'm looking forward to the album more yeah. instruction. So I let's see how that um, works. So. Ricardo and Sakodi, they are cooking up something. I saw a video of them going into the studio. So okay. that should be a big one. Too. Mm, Ricardo mm. and Sakodi, that would yeah. be that would be that'll nice. Be that would be nice. Okay. And then now Kelly is mm -hmm. still not the out of the news, news like exactly. the drama, the it's drama, just it, it just keeps on folding. Okay, right now, I don't think I can support Al Kelly and say, okay, we have to wait for the truth anymore. You already? No, not like, no, I'm not going to okay. prejudice him. Like, okay. I'm just going to say, look, you have to have some bad side to you for all these people to come, to out. come out and mm -hmm. say even if it's not what they are alleging or you are not who they say you are mm -hmm. but there's definitely something wrong with R. Kelly for so his own daughter to call him a monster mm -hmm. and saying she had to live through that all her life and they haven't herself and her siblings mm -hmm. haven't spoken to their father in years wow. and yeah, so wow. there's something fishy about R. Kelly but I don't know what it is mm. okay yeah. That's uh, definitely food for <laughs> thought, if at all you need thinking about. But uh, without wasting any more time, I think it's about time we had some tea. So um, we're starting with this news item, Ifu Eneda uh, berates ladies who get excited uh, during a marriage proposal. So Ife, you should do, you should do your arm thing. I'm not Ifu Eneda. Well, how did you pronounce her name? <laughs> Now. Why did you pronounce it? Okay, no, you should tell me, Elsie. Seriously, if I pronounced it wrong, I you don't should tell know. Me. But um, <sighs> you know when the whole proposal thing happens, mm -hmm. and then you see some people jumping and rolling on the floor and dancing. It can be funny sometimes, and I want. So you, you, your support of in uh, support of what she says. I'm not. Maybe the word berate that was used for the headline. In no, the it's not just about the word berate. Yeah, because but I she think actually berated them. In what way? Because she well. No, I'm talking about oh, my own angle now. Okay, I'm not yeah, so, yeah, I'm saying so. maybe uh -huh. not the word berate, but it's really funny when I see it happen and I'm uh -huh. wondering what is going on. I mean, you've been dating this guy uh -huh. supposedly. So I mean, you also think they shouldn't you, be too excited? The excitement is just too much. Like, well, can you like blame a woman who has been waiting like for two years or three years? Anybody. Yeah. It's just, oh, the idea is the man has to propose and all that. Yeah, I get it. But you're, you also have to say yes oh, for it to be God. a wonderful... I mean, I've seen what men who go really that excited if, yeah. that the woman said yes. But what I'm know? saying and is that, Elsie, like what about if a woman thing. has been waiting two, three, five years 10 years. With who? With the guy, and then he now finally proposes. <sighs> See, that's, that's what the I'm reaction saying. That we See, get. from my own angle, mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. I, do, I don't know because I am not your regular woman. I'm not the one that will come and wait for you for 10 years <laughs> if I'm not getting anything out of it. You have moved on straight to it. It's not just about, oh, we are married or yeah. he's going to marry me. That is how me I think. Mm -hmm. So if I'm with you for 10 years, there is something that kept me with you for 10 years, not because I'm expecting you to get married to me. Mm -hmm. So if my purpose for entering that relationship is marriage, mm -hmm. I will not wait for you for okay. 10 years. How long would you wait for, Elsa? Right now. No. So just generally speaking, and you personally, how long would you wait for? How long is the, you know, How long period? have you been waiting? 
Which one? Oh, if else, let's not Which go there. Which now? See, Elsie, I'm just asking you, how long do you think one should wait, you know, before marriage? I, I, I don't think um, there should be a time. A time but in your case, you were saying, case, yes, not more than... Right now, I know my age. Yeah. I mean, if I'm going to... How old are you? Oh, God, if I... Please, interrupt. I'm not your guest on the show. Yeah. Don't stress yeah, me. So, go so on. I know my age. Mm. I know what I you? want. I know where I am in my life right now. And if I meet a man mm -hmm. that I like... Mm -hmm. um, and you I also want to get married? to him let's just say you uh, i don't example. i don't i don't put marriage at the back of my head when i'm dating someone but okay. if it happens it happens but before i even say yes or so have you put at the back of you, you then you're the kind of person i would like to get married to and within a span of no, you don't no put a time so what's your point no of dating if you say marriage is not in your head companionship sometimes some people want fun sometimes people want companionship sometimes people want something extra someone that cares about you and sometimes people want to hang out people i mean all that why are you guys being all modest? Why are you not saying the... I already told you I am not your regular girl that is looking for marriage up and down. If it happens, it happens. If it's not talking happen. about marriage, it's he's talking happening. about something else. What you know, his, his favorite subject, but let's not go oh, there. That, that, that one is important. <laughs> exactly. Companionship, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why she's moving to this yeah. You said it, man. If you were not right? <laughs> so where she's coming from, I understand it. This can be, I've seen some videos and I'm wondering, babe, mm -hmm. now marriage, they asked you to marry you. I don't understand, but I'm happy for them. If that's all rocks their boat, that's good, but... I'm not going to say anyone is being shallow-minded. She's saying they should even get excited after the guy has been... Exactly. After I read that part, you know the song that came to my mind? Sit back down, what you mean? Sit back down, what you mean? As in, what does she mean? Are you joking? No, no, actually she's trying to say the excitement should be equal. Let's hear what Ife has to say because... Exactly. Now, she, she already got the point from the start. Mm -hmm. The excitement should be equal. Mm -hmm. Now, she's saying um, the guy is not doing you a favor by asking him to marry him. Instead, it should be vice versa. Is when you say yes, then he screams, then you can scream. Like, that's just dumb. No, the excitement should no. be equal. Basically. Yeah, it should be reciprocal. And then she's saying that but it should come... If sorry, if I, I just come quickly put in this a in. Very she's romantic. saying that it should come after the guy has already shown his own. Which, yeah. in some cases, is not always the case. Wait, but in most... not. Even in no, some, in most cases, yes. No, I mean, now, a if I come with a very romantic gesture that would yeah. blow your mind, like the guy with the six, like, six rings or five rings. No, no, apart that from that, that, I don't know if you guys saw this uh, one of those blog sites mm -hmm. about a guy of, of, of a video mm -hmm. where they say, Imagine if you give this to your girlfriend a chain mm -hmm. that has a lock, mm -hmm. but you didn't give her the key, you only gave her the chain mm -hmm. then after a few years when you're sure this is the woman you want to marry then you, you give, give her, her the key keys and, she and then she opens the necklace and then she discovers she had been with the ring you had proposed to her all along yeah. with the ring mm -hmm. now imagine that type of romantic well, situation of course you it will blow your mind you will get so excited you would scream you would jump it's allowed let people be happy why are people just i just called her i said this when i read the story because i'm like if you're not excited that a man is proposing to you yes he's not doing Doing you a favor, but at the same time, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You get excited on your birthday, so mm -hmm. why shouldn't I so get excited? She, she's hating on people who are getting proposed to. I think to. she should get proposed to and let's see her reaction. Let's see her reaction. Yeah, <laughs> so she should just <laughs> I think sit that's back a good down. Idea. Yeah, she should that, sit back down for now. Elsie, do you support? Of course, I support <laughs> what he's saying. I mean, I don't, I don't have a. a say over how you're going to react mm -hmm. but yeah no but do you think we should also like if i said put her to the test let her get proposed to and then let's see how she's going to yeah, react yeah of course we'll exactly. see your reaction exactly. on your own and proposal then, and yeah then and then we'll know, we'll know. Mm -hmm. all right uh time for a quick break when we come back it'll be time for some more entertainment stories stay here and don't go anywhere else <laughs> It's where the big stories live. This is Plus TV Africa. When I did it, I was full on, hands on, on the whole project. So how did you deal with it? All of that negative. I got depressed, obviously. Of the haven't you heard? I've got two of the hottest topics currently trending on social media. If you've seen the word Senate trending on Twitter, that's because the Nigerian police force has gone Trump star. I probably haven't shared this with anyone, but I reckon I get about like 100 people asking for help a day. That's a fact, I can prove that.
Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time, the morning edition. And up next is the story, No More Food in the Nude. Paris's naked restaurants shuts down over low patronage. So um, these guys have been in the business for like 15 months. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the reason why they said they set it up is so that um, naturists will enjoy themselves throughout the course of the year. Because naturists enjoy themselves normally during summer, but they wanted somewhere where they can actually enjoy it even during winter. So, um, is this coming as any surprise that you know something like this will get closed? I don't know what you guys takes on this is because I think one could have foreseen that this is um, not a business that can last. Yeah, obviously, it's. I think it should have been targeted at a specific set of people mm -hmm. that you know that definitely they will be loyal to your brand. It's not just something you wake up and you just be like, okay, this is a business I want to do. Even though when I did my research, I, find out, I found out that there were about 52 nudist spots in France, France. where you can just mm -hmm. go and get naked. And not just France, all over the world. They're, they're, not all uh, over the world, I think predominantly in Europe. Yeah, yeah, everything. yeah. Okay. No, well, I think there are some places in Nigeria where you can be new to. We have I, naturist I, I beaches be, here. I, I, I believe so. <laughs> I don't be, they I would, they so. would be coded, <laughs> but trust me, there's nothing you can Oh, yeah, yeah, there more. is. There is. Someone Thank has you. actually talked to me about it. The person, um, the place is in Keja. You just around. go and have your bath. Is that not it? No. You they hang have, around Yes, naked. they have all. Yes, they're, even they're if it's just nudists, going to have your so bath. they okay. all stay together. They're all naked. Yeah. Somewhere in Lagos here. Oh, very yeah, interesting. So okay, so I stand to be corrected all over the world. Yeah, so I'm sure there are places like that but um, I think this one is very very absurd and very disgusting because I don't want to be eating and then the word see. Disgusting. exactly just because you don't approve you know and this is absurd. also a western and thing yeah see somebody walking I'm, I'm having a good meal and then somebody walks past and I'm looking at you what the looking at what yo no, he, we understand. But you see, if uh, the thing is, at the end of the day, it's like, not open to everyone. It's open to people who are naturists, yeah. naturally. Yeah. You know, someone like okay. Elsie would enjoy it because she said she at home, mm -mm. she's someone like mm -mm. that. Yeah, Chai, I am, I am in my Chai. house. Chai. What? In my space. That's what I'm saying. That someone like you no, will find it, it no problem. No, it is not me just walking in and seeing strangers naked. But it's romantic. Give your boyfriend she invites you. No, but it's not a romantic you. thing. At the end of the day, people are nature, naturists by nature or mm. in their own skin. And they feel comfortable, you know, hanging out just completely naked. They just feel there should be no inhibitions whatsoever. Let's be free, you know. And they hang out in beaches like that. So if you can hang out at a naturist beach, why not hang out at a naturist restaurant? Okay, but not somebody like Elsie. No, Thank I you. know Elsie. I, anyway, I, was, I, 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 I also noted I saw that those who opened the restaurant themselves, they are not even nature. Yeah. So yeah. I'm wondering, mm -hmm. how did that come up? How did they... Yeah, it's a you business know, idea. Yeah. It's a business idea. And like, if I said there are like 101 um, uh, outlets, you know, for people to like mm. hang out. And I like it, it did, I think it did well for those uh, first few, few months yeah. because mm. it was new. No one had done it before. And then, but I just knew that, like if I was saying, I think they didn't think about the longevity of the business, you know, and then I think they also didn't probably reward even those ones that came initially. If there was some kind of reward plan, you know, I would have said, okay, maybe we would have seen this because there are some restaurants no, no, in the... Or, may, or maybe they should Exactly, have, because um, like in the UK, I had some restaurants where even here in the... Naked. Even here in Nigeria, where if you go um, for um, five times, you know, you get a free meal or you get something extra, you get so many other um, perks that come Maybe with... Maybe a um, coupon or something like that. A coupon or a free meal it comes with so many things so i think they could have done something like that you know just to keep the the, the loyal customers that they had coming back or you know just some kind of promo every once in a while gone, or if they had gone into um, partnership with um all these nudist associations exactly yeah, exactly they, they, they or they even gone to those we nudist we beaches we don't know if they did that or not yeah, because well, this is know. not part of their statement so well, I'm not. I'm not surprised. I and believe I'm there's not... going to be an association for that. Yeah. For what? So for nudist resort, I'm okay. sure you have to get a license because it's not completely okay for you to walk out on the streets naked. Mm -hmm. So maybe in case 
one of your or in case of an emergency imagine an emergency while people are eating and then they all have to run out into the street let's say a fire breaks out uh -huh. so there has to be a license <laughs> for that so it's not going to be something that you don't be like okay they i want have, to open they, but they would have gotten yeah. that at the outset yeah know? that's what i'm saying okay. that so i believe there, there must be an association which they must be partner a member with. or partnership no, they are not just in case. Exactly. Pa partnership yeah, big but the, the are fact that you're not new this, but you want to own a restaurant or mm -hmm. business you, like that, you can you only need partner with them. You can't be in their um, association. Since exactly, you since you you're are. not even a, yeah. a new this, and then this is don't forget this is a restaurant. And then one of the things that they do is that you know it's it's still indoors. It's not necessarily outdoors. Yeah, I'm just saying in case of emergency. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine there's a new this restaurant just right outside I'm and then on. This the, the fire is funny. A, a fire breaks out and then they all have to run if out. Your guess. imagination runs wild. Uh, I'm, just I'm just being it a runs realist. wild. I'm just being a realist. You're let's, being a realist. A realist. Okay, all right. Thank Still you. to come on Tea Time, some stories to do with corporate <laughs> reshuffling. That's all coming up when Tea Time on Plus TV Africa returns. we do not understand, we will stigmatize. What you can see is the remaining of the tanker that exploded. The suspect equally confessed. A 500 naira they collect them. With no talk, they will beat you. Now two to other five are they pay. Welcome back, you're watching Tea Time and it's time for the next set of stories. Flyboy Inc. Kiss Daniel's label sacks manager Lawrence and announces a uh, new management. So um, I think um, this is basically in line with what happened recently with regards was to David Was this the manager Doe. that was slapped? Yeah. And now he's been sacked? Yeah. Yes, and it's as a result of the uh -uh. incident. Oh, <laughs> was there pun intended that was no, slapped I'm and now sack. he's sacked? And from, <laughs> from the, uh, what's that, the statements they put out, mm -hmm. I'm beginning to think the slap did not happen. Yeah, but um, David o came out to say he didn't. Yeah, did, um, and you know, I mean, when Kiss Daniel um, responded and said, um, sorry, uh, with my own people and blah, 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 is it that he did not see the slap landing from David o's hand? That's what I was telling you guys, that yeah, I the said, guy said I saw poured there was the po they poured a drink, so he <laughs> couldn't I'm talking see. of Kiss Daniel himself, because they said no, it was when it happened. No, Kiss Daniel wasn't there. He no, wasn't. that he was the story. Let me remind you what they slap. told us. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't witness, but they said he witnessed. walked out. Yeah, he walked out after they told him that, look, they just harassed your so manager. So he did not see it with his two no, eyes. No, Kiz Daniel wow. never saw the harassment. You just wanted to shade my guy, David Doe. Yeah, ah, no, Kiz yeah, Daniel And then David Doe came out to say nothing of this. So he <laughs> and denied I, 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 And I think I believe David Doe, because David Doe is the kind of person that if he did something, he, he can be like, who him be? You get, he might not say I slapped him, but it might be like, if I slap him, we ain't be. But he said, remember when we talked about this, we talked about this inside source that said he was there. Okay, maybe not the manager, but that he slapped for about four other people, and you confirmed it as well. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that David Doe, okay, about those four other people that didn't come out to talk, David Doe won't still talk about it like exactly. I yeah, slap okay. Do you understand? So let's well, try and clarify. So out of those four people, it wouldn't have been um, Kiss Daniel's manager. Out of those four people, is that No, definitely, okay. definitely. Okay. Because okay. the That's inside source were because not Because I don't want to believe days. that Davido does not know who Kiss Daniel's manager, manager is. is. I mean, they have a they, song they together. Song together. They and it was recent. Together. And it was they so recent. Together. So, yeah. yeah. So, That's why Davido was so hurt, yeah, according to his statement, because statement. he was like, after all I've done for you, I had a problem with that though, because that was like, prideful, like it's after not, all no, I've No, it's done not prideful, you, anybody can use that statement, especially when you've done a whole lot and somebody comes to say something that could actually ruin you, mm -hmm. you can actually go, oh, after all I did, mm -hmm. you know, and I understand. And then if you but... read um, Lawrence, Lawrence's um, statements mm -hmm. later, 
He said, if you're not even the one, if you are not the, the one, at least it was one of your boys and then you witnessed it. So he started like, no. his story was not consistent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, initially he said mm -hmm. it was David Doe. Later he said the drink, the, there was drink all over him, so he couldn't tell. So it wasn't a consistent story. Mm -hmm. And okay. then when Flyboy Inc. released the statement, they mm -hmm. said um, they respect every artist and colleague in the industry and they hold them in high esteem and then so they, they remove they themselves won't. from every story making yeah the making the rounds on social media so right. it's more like saying that look lawrence was lying yeah okay. story, in a yeah. diplomatic all right. way let's mm -hmm. move on to our last but story. sorry sorry let me just yeah. tell you lawrence um kiss daniel's new manager i don't understand how she became his manager because, because she I was actually... had a thousand followers a thousand no, 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 no. managers does not need to no, no. They yes, don't you need do. to have oh, come on it doesn't have to go by your own okay and then I looked at they the do people. the legwork, exactly. basically. Yeah. All right, uh, moving on to our last story. <laughs> it's on DJ Lambo, who steps down as Chalkboy Nation president and leaves uh, the label. So, Allegedly. No, no, please do this. Please do this. DJ, it's my turn. DJ oh, Lambo goodness. is Tokumbo's friend. Oh, yeah. did you call her to get inside? Just Absolutely, you bet I did. Okay. Because yeah. I was just like, okay, DJ Lambo, I've been meaning to call you all this while. And then, funny enough, you know, you step up onto... Uh, the major headlines, and she was just like laughing all the way through. I was like, no, but I need info, you know. And as far as she's concerned, this is all speculation, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. She said, um, one thing for sure is that her contract is it's coming to an end. Fine. And I think people are jumping into conclusion because that contract is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. And then even the the, 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 um, the company, they have released their statement. They're saying, okay, if she if the, the contract is coming to an end, if she wants, if she wants to, to go, she can go. She yeah. can go. And if she wants to stay, she can stay. Mm -hmm. You know, so nothing is concrete at the moment. And when she told me that, I was like really, really surprised. I was like, everyone has carried that story. So you're telling me that this story is actually based on baseless allegations or baseless uh, uh, information. For me, speculation. So I'm like, I was really, really surprised. So she and then they made it look like after she sent in her resignation, they didn't even care about it. They the were thing like, is, she's yeah. telling me she hasn't sent in any resignation. Yeah, and because I actually speaking. went to her Instagram page mm -hmm. to see if she had taken yeah, anything. Still Chuck, she's still the president of, of yeah. Chuck Boy Nation. There so. you go. There you go. So I was just like, whoa, is this how people make up stories? Now I can. I can relate to some celebrities who say they laugh at when they see certain things just come up on the blogs. Well, so. DJ Lambo, whether you step down, whether you don't step down, you've done a great job. At least she's the first female president of a record label in Nigeria. Um, Chalk I, I don't know if I can even say in Africa. Africa actually, yeah. But see, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I can say Africa because we don't know if there are other presidents oh, of record labels in Africa. Africa. Yeah, especially South Africa. South Africa. I said you can, Uncle. Oh, she's so the first. you're confirmed. <laughs> wow. that, that's affirmative. Yeah. Okay, okay, so great. So she's done great for herself. Mm -hmm. She's broken all boundaries. Mm -hmm. She didn't have to come out looking all girlish to do her craft and all, all that. She was herself. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she was herself all the way. So True. kudos to you, DJ Lambo. Whether mm -hmm. you leave or not, you always be remembered and you always be a legend and you always be known as Okay, let's first. talk about it hypothetically. Supposing if she did leave, what do you think she might do? What did you think? She has a She's a DJ. Mm -hmm. So she she's, carry, she's, carry on she's a that. successful she DJ. A, I mean, do you understand? Of, like she's one of the best. Female. Yeah, not yeah. even female. I mean, Let's even take um, sexism Nigeria. out of this now. You think? Yeah, and then she's one of the top DJs in, in Nigeria. Nigeria. Do you think she'll make the top 10 with all of the men that we have and all of the women that we no, have? No, she's okay, already so in the top 10. Count. I'm sorry. Let's try and count. She's them. already in the top 10. Let's not try doing that. She's already in the top 10 DJs in Nigeria. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but talk about she's your friend. I think you should. I know that's why three. I don't want to like be a bias. Yeah. I was like, let me but hear yeah, other no, people's she's opinion. There. She's yeah, she's on the top ten. All right. And then I've seen her perform in several places. She always she's yeah, a party she's, animal, she, like she yeah, says. She kills it. All right, and that brings us to the end of the morning edition of Tea Time. Join us later this afternoon for another jolly good episode of the program. But before we go, as I usually do, a big thank you to my co-anchors Ife and Elsie, the entire production team as well, and our stylist courtesy of Kudis Empire. Until later this afternoon, I'm Tokumpo Taiwa saying good morning.